Well, today I added a new addition to my air gun family. I got a 22 Streamline. And um, I was debating between the Streamline and the Taipan Mutant Shorty. And they both got a lot going for it. Uh, but uh, I decided that the FX had a little bit more features uh, for what I was doing. Um, basically, uh, I have the 25 Wildcat, which is really more of a hunting gun and long range gun. Um, I wanted something more oriented for planking and light hunting. Um, I have a 22 uh, FX Ferminator, which puts out about 22 foot pounds energy. And it's stretching a little bit to shoot over, you know, 40 yards, 50 yards. Uh, but it's a very nice gun, gets a lot of shots per fill. But, uh, so I wanted something with a little bit more uh, oomph. And this has it though, it seems to be, from what I've seen on the internet, uh, not a very hot gun. My gun isn't very hot as far as velocity goes. But uh, So I've already done my sight in and checking velocities and getting uh, BCs for different pellets. And I'm in the process of... Uh, shooting some uh, different pellets the jumbo 15s the jumbo 18s terminators this uh, was my uh, ratten pellet uh, for pesting and the barracuda hunter extremes they're like 19.09 grains and the H&M um, Barracuda Match, 21.14 grains, and uh, they would make a good medium-range groundhog pellet because these are very hard lead and penetrate well. So I'm in the process right now of shooting groups at 50 yards and uh, seeing what I get. There's a little bit of wind today, so I'm getting a little bit of horizontal dispersion, but uh, I'll finish shooting my groups and then show you the results. I meant to add, um, shooting this, uh, first time I shot it as is, without the uh, moderator on the end, it was loud. I mean, I wouldn't say backyard friendly, and I've shot some guns. I mean, my Wildcat 25 without a moderator on it wasn't as bad as this, nowhere near as bad. Um, so this is a half inch UNF. Uh, thread on here and so I happen to have a, a Neil Plague moderator so I put that on and it quieted it right down respectful um, the other thing is the cocking side lever is not real real smooth and I think the newer ones supposedly have a shorter throw to them and I don't know if I'm getting used to that or not um, I have the, I bought a brand new Athlon 4 to 14 first focal plane to put on it since they work so good. And I got the, the Leapers UTG mounts on it, the 11 millimeter rail highs. And um, got highs just in case, you know, I didn't want it to be hitting the gun, the scope with the magazine. And the scope sits a little bit high for for a good cheek weld, and there's only about an eighth inch plus under there. If I went the mediums, mediums are about a little bit more than a quarter lower, so they would not work. So I had to go with the highs with this scope. Uh, this scope has the the flat bottom on it, which hangs down from the main tube, so it you know needs a little bit more height. I haven't checked the trigger pull; it's decent. It's an FX trigger and pretty good. Doesn't seem as nice as my Wildcat or Verminator, but maybe I'll do some adjusting to it. So, 
The other thing was the magazine is really tight. I don't know if it's the covers on tight or the uh, mainspring is wound too tight. It seems to be cycling pellets fairly good. So I have to look in that too. So on to finish shooting my groups. Okay, um, here's the first groups of pellets I started with. Uh, these actually I did some uh, ciders on here and then I clicked up to make sure I was getting somewhere close to the bull. So these are five shot groups. Cross two top bulls here are H and N terminators. Um, the wind I can it's left to right, so that sort of accounts for the horizontal dispersion going. The more top, uh, the bottom vertical dispersion is, you know, it's fairly tight, but um, wouldn't expect the terminators to do as well. Next is Hunter Extremes. Those have always been pretty good pellets for me. This uh, middle left group pretty tight um, and the right group not bad a little bit of horizontal movement to it and finally on the bottom H&N Barracuda match the head size is 5.51 millimeters and you can see they're a fairly uniform shooting pellet but not necessarily real tight so now I'm going to move on to the JSB pellets of 15s and 18s to see how they do. Once again, this is at 50 yards, FX Streamline 22, as you can see. Okay, here's the result of my five shot groups top, left, and right. The jumbos, uh, sort of a, a group rather than, you know, open group, rather than real tight. And then down to JSB's, 18's, seem to shoot better. The wind's calming down a little bit. Uh, of course, these are one inch orange bowls, so you can be a judge about the group size. On these so like I say a little windy today with the wind just harder to shoot groups and I'm learning the rifle so uh, I'm happy so far with the results okay I got my 70 yard angle iron target set up for me shooting I had adjusted it, you know, uh, with some uh, additional angles and stuff, and it seemed to be resetting better. The other target I hadn't worked on yet. See how many times I can hit it. I'm hitting the paddle, it's not knocking down. Try the middle. Okay, the weight, the reset bar is off the far left target so maybe it will fall. Yep. I still gotta work on these targets. Of course this uh, Streamline 22 don't quite have the oomph. 
of the 25 Wildcat, so that's a difference there. Okay, I had a couple bulls left on my pellet testing target, so I took the target from 50 yards and set it up at my 72 yard target. So I'm going to take the JSB-18 and see if I can get any types of groups going. As you might have heard there, the twang is it's shooting below the regulator. It's easy to keep shooting and uh, not notice how many shots you shot. Uh, I don't know if that going off the regulator, my last two shots had an impact. But looks like pretty darn good groups up there. We'll go look at them. Just a quick look at the gauge. It appears that it comes off the reg at about 120 bar. So I'll check that via my uh, gauge on my fill tank and see how it compares. Alright, the first left group is six shots. The other group is five shots. Total group size for the six shots is inch and three quarters. If you look at these four, I got half inch. And here's five shots. And three quarters for all of them. And three of them at three eighths so that's damn good of course there's no wind again which makes all the difference but uh, it's pretty darn good said so the 18 grainers seem to shoot best at 50 yards too so that's the pellet to use I believe at least for target practice hunting may be a different story